So this is what Jose Mourinho had to say after the game. We didn't win because we missed incredible chances. I would say joke chances. I talked to the players at halftime when it was 1-1. It was an easy match to win. Childish loss of possession. So easy. Childish in their box and childish in our box. I like this from Mourinho. Honest Mourinho. No excuses. He's spot on, isn't he, Stevie? Uh, pretty much. Yeah, at least Manchester United should have won this game comfortably. Uh, but if you if you leave Leicester hanging on, um, then you shouldn't be surprised that they take advantage of it. You know, they didn't win the Premier League uh, for no reason. Um, and it's a, real, it's a real punch in the guts for Manchester United. This should have been three points. As he said, easy. But this kind of epitomises United of late. They just don't seem to be able to kill teams off. We saw it, obviously, against Bristol City. It's happened time and time again over recent weeks, and this time they're punished for it. Yeah, but, but time and time again, we've been fairly critical, and I've certainly been critical, of Mourinho's rule and them not killing teams off. That you go one up or two up, and they just sit back and defend and try to soak pressure up. This, this, this has nothing to do with Mourinho. This is just the players kind of taking things for granted. You can't be having the kind of chances that you have, that Manchester United had, Lingard, Martial, Rashford, we, maybe we ag agree to disagree on, on that one. But it, it was comprehensive for Manchester United. And then you're down to 10 men, you have Smalling injured, you are asking for some kind of leadership on the field. OK, Manchester United don't have great leaders, but you do have Pogba. You do have Matic, both of them on, both of them on the park at, at, at the same time. The only way that Jose Mourinho can be blamed here is if he, you're asking him to come on the pitch and make these decisions and score these goals themselves. This is down to some of the best players in the world, but, but, some of the highest paid players in the world, just neglecting their responsibilities. But talking about the smalling injury, did Mourinho not make a mistake in putting him back on the pitch? Why even put that as an element? Why keep him off the pitch? He's injured, so he's not there as a distraction to the rest of your defenders. Uh, no, it doesn't work that way. Mm. You know, it's just another body. You know, he, if, if he can stand, then maybe he can head the ball away or the ball can hit him. That, that isn't the problem. I, I kind of agree with Shaq for most of it, but guess what? What does Mourinho get paid to do? Coach. You're telling me he can't get on the side of the field and say, right, you there, you there, you there. And then there's no argument and then nobody's got a discussion about it. You just do as the coach tells you. That's what he should have done. He should have done it really quick. Wasn't, it wasn't like Smalling all of a sudden from nowhere was struggling. He was struggling for quite a bit. And he didn't make the decisions and make it clear to the players what to do. I, I, I agree with you, Stevie, but you played in great Liverpool <laughs> team who I don't think this, this would have been an issue for. You would have made that decision. Right. I played on very average teams in the Premier League that wouldn't have made an issue out of this, that we'd have figured it out on the park. And, and as a result, that's why I'm not putting this on Mourinho at all. But, yes, we would have done that. When you have those, mm. the right type of player, you do it, right? And, and actually, it's done before the coach is even off his, off his seat sure. and tells you. But when it's not done on the field, that's his job, mm. to get off his seat and start pointing people around and telling them what their job is. Gab, what was your big takeaway from the game? I don't know. I'm a little bit less concerned here. I and mean, I'm concerned when teams don't create chances. I'm less concerned when they don't finish them or they, they concede a goal so late because of the kind of thing that ultimately is, is, is fairly flex fixable, right? Because, you know, we heard that Smalling was injured. He's not always going to be injured. Other guys will hopefully take this lesson to, to, to heart and do what, what Shaka and, um, uh, and, and Stevie suggested and, and take ownership of the situation on the pitch and make adjustments on the fly or maybe Mourinho will be more forceful from the sidelines. Those are things that you can easily, si easily fix. You know, you worry when you don't create chances and when you can see too many. And I thought in this game... For the most part, Manchester City, oh, sorry, Manchester United, uh, Freudian laps there, um, did, did a pretty good job of that. 